Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Spitfire show. Uh, more building, well, more uh, looking at the Spitfire, should we say, this week. Um, right, let's uh, introduce my co-host with me. Uh, it's going to be more of a chit-chat, really, this show, I believe. So um, we'll see how it goes. But first, we've got the S Models and Vintage. Hello, everybody. Hello. Yeah, oh, it's so nice to be back, Alex. Yeah, um, so nice to be back with um, something different for a change. Yeah, um, yeah, looking forward to it. I, th I don't think we've got a lot of building to do, but it's going to be interesting all the same. And um, God blame me, I've just got the I've just got the issue down from upstairs actually, and um, I thought, oh, God, I've not opened this box yet, and I had a look, and when I did, wow, I thought, great. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I can't wait to have a look. Okay, and uh, we've got Jordy Dave. Evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to Horlicks' channel. And it's great to be on with you tonight. Uh, yeah, quite a not quite a large build tonight, but enjoyable as usual, and uh, a lot of more useful information for everybody. So let's crack on with this. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. And um, yeah, I've just realised actually this would be the last show before this year, I think. Well, yeah. Um, obviously, we've got next Friday, but it's Christmas Eve. And yeah, no, I think I'll probably leave that. So yeah, yeah. It's probably going to be the last Spitfire show from me um, in 2021. So, wow. so, you, so when's your plan for your next one? Because the following one's the new, new Year's Eve. Yeah, well, that's it. So it might be a couple of weeks. Um, you know, I might be able to find something to do in between. I could do like an upload of something else. But yeah, so next week's the 24th, so Christmas Eve, and then, yeah, New Year's Eve. So, yeah, probably won't be back till the 7th. Yeah. So, um, but, yeah, that's that. So... Um, right, well, let's go through some chat first, I think. And, um, okay. Uh, oh, before I do, so I just say, um, yeah, Mark uh, won't be joining us this evening. Um, he had uh, personal things to deal with today, um, and he's literally only just got back. So, um, yeah, he's uh, he's just going to chill out and watch tonight, and, which is absolutely fine because there's, there's not a lot to do anyway. This, you know, this stream would have been over probably in three minutes uh, <laughs> normally so but yeah now let's go for some chat say hello to everyone okay. and, uh, yeah so. um, first of all that was alex dimitrialis sorry if i haven't said your name right hello holix dear on everyone else so looking forward to your spitfire build lovely thank hello, you alex hi uh, nice to see you Gillian Millen. hi evening everyone how do you hi Gillian. Hi, Gillian. D Harris, evening, Alex. Hi, D. Hi, D. Dano of the Universe. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dano. Hello, yeah, Dano. Hi, Dano. Uh, D Harris, saying evening to Jillian. <laughs> D Harris, saying evening to Dano. And Jillian, saying evening to D. Right, let's <laughs> get this mouse down a bit. Go on, go on, work for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave Macbill, good evening, Eagle Squadrons. Time to get your kite airboard and face the horn once again. Good luck with your build, Horlix. Hello, Thank Dave Mac. Uh, D. Harris, evening, Dave Mac. Mark Mods, go Mark Mods, good evening, everybody. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. D. Harris, evening, Mark. Dave Mac, evening, D. Mark Moore's evening, D. Harris. <laughs> Dave Mark, evening, Mark Mods. Oh, how are you? Good evenings here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark Moore's evening, D. Dave Mark build. And Warren James, hi. All good luck with your build, Holix. Hi, Warren. Hi, Warren. Um, Thank you. Alex, um, hello, Holix. Dave, Jory, Dave, Dave, see a problem sorted. It was my fault. I apologize. Oh, you're all right. You're absolutely all right. Thank you for joining us, Alex. Um, D. Harris, evening, Dave, see And Jory, Dave. Hi, e Dave. Evening, Dave. Andy, C. H. Evening, all. Evening, Hi, Andy. Andy. And Daniel's Universe, evening, D. 
<laughs> and I think that is a chat for no. Yeah, a lot of evenings and highs and yes, yeah, it's good, yeah. to see. good to see everybody chat each other. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um right. said, do you want to do your build or yeah, let's start with that. We'll have a look and see what's see what we're not doing, and then uh yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> <laughs> right. right then. So, so you want to change your camera? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and DC is chat stretching out the stream a bit anyway. LOL. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just yeah. a bit. <laughs> <coughs> what has just oh, gone wrong way? Has it gone wrong way? So, right. Um, get my camera aside. There we go. Oops. Just in your cup of tea, Alex. Oh, what me? Uh, yeah, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> <Jingle balls. laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> well, it is the season. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> did anyone notice the? Uh, did anyone notice my um, my Terminator's been dressed up? No, let's have a look. <laughs> red balls there. <laughs> well that's my that's my tree this year <laughs> it's just a shame the light's not working uh, because obviously the batteries have run out i really need to look at getting the power mod for that from part work upgrades so yeah i'm gonna do that at some point um because yeah those batteries in the base haven't lasted long at all and they were duracell oh goodness me so um yeah, i only had it on on and off for a couple of evenings and i was gonna say you, didn't, you haven't had them on long have you so oh. goodness me the duracell are supposed to last the longest yeah yeah, yeah. They weren't, i think they were like the simple ones they weren't like the duracell plus or anything but right um yeah i'm definitely gonna look at getting the, uh, some power to that because yeah it'd just be easier all around and then the other batteries are available of course yes yeah well, you get them new ones that make screwdrivers go quicker. I'll make the Spitfires, the propellers will run quicker. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I used to get, I mean, I was thinking about getting some rechargeables and that, but even then, it's just, well, it's just easier just to plug these things in, isn't it? Yeah. Really? So, yeah. Um, okay. So, right. Let's okay. Uh, so, we're doing the uh, build the model uh, Spitfire and it's it, Mark 1A issue 88. Oh blimey! We'll soon be um, we'll soon be coming to the end of this, won't we? It's um, getting shockingly close to the end. Yeah, uh, yeah. Issue eighty-eight. So, and we're doing the top panel for the left wing. Okay. Wow! Wow! So, um, the patch checklist is eighty-eight or one top panel for the left wing. Okay, so I've taken it out of the box. Okay. Oh, it's in some bubble wrap. And then I'm going to open the bubble wrap. Okay. Carefully. Yep. Wow. Now that has got some weight to it. Wow. Looks nice, too. That is... Uh... Oh, it's got some panel details. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got that and then up there. Let me turn this round. Yeah. Oh, it's got some uh, rivets, so we can count rivets on it. Walk way forward. Walk way forward. Whoa. And um, yeah, this is really, really heavy. Yeah. So, oh, so metal then, isn't it? Yeah, it's metal, yeah. yeah. Um, lovely finish on it. Um, on my particular one, anyway. There's. Maybe a little bit of a, a mark in there, but yeah, no, it's um, really nice. Right. Um, so, uh, is there any clues to fastening it down then? Which is going to be my next question because um, it's been a big ball of contention as this, hasn't it, about fastening yeah, it down? Right. Well, well, I can see whether this is something else because obviously it's in this area i'm guessing maybe another wing panel might attach to this yeah. but there's one two there's four screw holes there 
So it looks like there's going to be something that goes on there, but not really. I mean, there's some clip. Well, and they're not even clips. They're just there's just these recesses there, uh -huh. and then it looks like the typical sort of push fit. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, but apart from that, I can't really see anything the, apart the, from the, these. But I can't see how these just. They don't look like clips like that you would snap down. They're just no. open grooves. And I so, watched not, not he has watched John's model build yet on a spit. No, I've I've still got to catch up with some videos. Yeah. Um, well, that is yeah. in the list. It is worth catching up because he gives you a rough idea. There is another wing port that fits into there. Okay. Right. And it's got lots of little spring works on doing it. And, uh, and there's openings for two panels to put screws in. Yeah. This they, this four sides, the the end of the wing, seems to be the 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 end where everybody's having trouble with because sometimes the plastic doesn't fit properly. Uh, he puts he made some epoxy thingy and put it into that into the whole thing, and, oh, then, yeah. and then use a double sided tape on yeah. the end of the wing to make it stick down. Yeah, but I, don't, I don't know whether these issues tell what to fix the wings in yet or not because I've not actually read right up in the last week. Okay, well, this, I mean, this particular issue only says instructions for fitting this part will be given in a future issue, uh -huh. right? So I we're do. just looking at the part and admiring. Now, I've, I'm guessing that to be honest, the, the fitting of this may also heavily depend on your how you've uh, cabled your your wing and all the electronics because obviously the flatter the wires are the nicer this is going to fit down as well um so i suppose everyone's build is going to be slightly different the front end fits over the guns mm -hmm. so it's curved to fit over the guns if you look at it yeah so i guess that'll sort of go on clip on over the over the guns and then this will come down and then hopefully sit into place but yeah until we get that far um i guess yeah you could glue that down with some epoxy or something if that was something you wanted to do i mean personally i probably wouldn't not initially anyway because if we need to get access because don't forget we've still not tested the flat motors the, the you, know, you know not the flat motors but the yeah the flat motors and the um the landing gear all that gearbox and stuff. Well, mind you, that's more in the middle, but we might need to get access back to that. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably glue I my straight I would, away. I wouldn't fix mine down properly until I know all that's working. Yeah. Um, but I've just, sorry, I've just noticed in the chat, I'll read this out quick, um, that Dave Mack said he had to use blue tack on the wingtip to screw it. And that's a really good idea because it's that should hold it in place but also it's not permanent so yeah. Uh, yeah, that's quite a good idea um but yeah well, i mean i won't know until we've we've i've got that far on my issue um yeah and i, I did see a picture the other day on uh, the facebook group and uh there was someone i think that had these fitted and yeah god it, it looks almost complete wow really with once these are on it does look you know more uh more together yeah we um i was going to say have you got uh the issue itself uh Horlex, that you could actually show the um next uh components coming next week uh, yes, uh, 89. Uh, oh, that'll be on the back of this one wouldn't it yeah there we go yeah so that'll give us a clue as to what's coming next week with this wing, won't it? Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. There you go. You can see the four fixing points. And you see where them covers fit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see, yeah. There's, there, there's, there, them four fixing points are fitting on the wing and them covers are going over screw holes. Yeah. That's I see. It looks like there's some detail on there, some writing. So that'd be interesting to see in the flesh. I can't read it on this mag; it's a bit blurry. But yeah, that's a good, a good uh, point, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
But there's some intricate work to do or not with um, springs and all that. No work. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Just about yeah. see. Well, one of them you can hardly see, actually. <laughs> but yeah, there's uh, one, two, three. Yeah, looks like three or four springs. Uh, it looks like some sort of catch. Um, so I'm guessing we're going to have, yeah, a removable panel. And yeah, so all exciting stuff. Oh. It's a wing flap indicator we're putting on it. Ah. Tells, you, tells you on the side there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> panels and parts for the wing wing flap indicator. Yeah, but obviously we'll see how it goes because obviously if I do get a delivery at some point between now and the seventh, we might be able to do a couple of issues next time. Yeah, uh, just to make up for lost time. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that's um, that's it. I'm afraid it's just looking at this uh, gorgeous painted wing. Um. um yeah, well, I'll catch up on the chat. Wonderful, that is nice. Um, Alex, Alex, um, hello, Dream Team. For for all models, I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy and very prosperous new year for 2022. And I hope Christine is okay. Bless her. Oh, th <laughs> thank you for that, Alex. Yeah, no, um. Thank well, we wish you all uh, a happy, a merry, very merry, happy Christmas and a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year for 2022, too. So, um, from all of us uh, to all of you, uh, and thank you for that with Christine. Yeah, she's actually, um, the, the pain she's suffering at the moment it's like coming and going, and uh, she's taken to her bed again tonight. So, but she is on. She's actually on Mor Orimoth, so, um, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, and she can get out of pain, you know, within a couple of hours of taking Orimoth. And, you know, then she's, you know, she's able to get relaxed a little bit like. But, yeah, it's no, it is it is taking it out of her without a shadow of a doubt. And um, it's been, it's it's left quite a crater what, what in, in her mouth. It really has been bad. So, but... Um, Having said that, you know, hopefully, eventually, it'll get better, and and um, she, all being well, she'll be able to enjoy a Christmas dinner, uh, which I don't think she would have done if she had just had that, that 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 massive teeth in, like so. Yeah, yeah uh, um, we just got to hope for the best, haven't we? So yeah, thank you for that, Alex. Anyway, yeah, thank you, Alex. Yeah, and um, yeah, yeah. May I say Merry Christmas to you and every one of you that's been supporting uh, not only my channel but all, all these guys' yeah. channels as well. So thank you so much. It's been a great 2021. Um, I've just got one wish that I, I get a little bit more. Um, a few more subs next year. Um, that'd be great. So yeah. if you haven't subscribed already. Um, yeah, please think about um, yeah, liking, yeah. commenting, and subscribing. Um, yeah. Then you won't miss any future content. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, and that's the same to everyone you see on my shows, and you know, we all help each other out, and it's just great, great community, yeah. and we just want to reach out to more people and help more people if we can. Yeah, if, if we, we can. can so. Okay. Uh, uh, but the, the like, sorry, the likes, obviously. It's not necessarily, yes, it you know, it helps our channels, the likes, but not only that, it helps like you because of the algorithms, it helps you find other content. So if you enjoy my my builds or Dave builds or Dano's or anyone's you watch, by hitting that like button, you're telling YouTube that you like this content. And it doesn't mean you'll get all you'll get bombarded with our content, it means you'll get bomb bombarded with all yeah. sorts of people. Yeah who are doing the similar thing and it's, yeah. it's um you know you might get more people and and then you know make the group even bigger and you know it's, that's yeah. what it's all about so it's not just supporting us by liking it's it's telling youtube that you like this type yeah. of content and it will pass you on to recommended other videos of the of a similar of a similar thing so yeah okay uh d harris watched John builds iconic military models. Latest build, he shows the wing tip issue. Right. That's the, I, that's the one I was on about. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, you've read that, Dave Max. Yeah. Uh, Robert Mill, hi everyone. I hope you have a nice Christmas and a new year. And hi, Dad. Hi, Rob. 
Thank you, Robert. Same to you, Robert, as well. Thank you very much. And D. Harris, the same to you, Robert. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you've been hearing yourself and your brothers. Um right well that's pretty much it i just want to go i actually want to talk about um a subject that's i don't know how i feel about it actually uh, whether to be upset about it or not it's this greece now i need to talk about greece for the spitfire um now i've personally used a little bit of greece on my spitfire gears now i've had um a few comments in on the particular live show and i'm thankful for all the help that's great you know I, I like opinions i love taking on board what everyone has to say um i know obviously the plastic gears used in spitfire um yes as my viewers are correct they do not need lubrication they don't need it because they're self-lubricating it's a type of plastic it is however i decided to grease mine um, now, since I've had a lot of, I've had a few messages on my um, personal Facebook about it. Um, I've even seen other live streams this week having it as a discussion um, and how they're not going to do it and, and whatnot, uh, which is absolutely fine. At the end of the day, we've, we've all built, everyone who's building this model, it's our models. We can we can do it. We can mod it. We can do whatever we want with our models. As long as you're happy with how your model is, that's all yeah. that matters. And we're all here to support each other. But um, I feel like I've been dug at a little bit just because I've done this. Now, I've done some research now, um, and I just wanted to share it with you today, really, just so, okay. so I can tell you about my um, what I've done. And it's just, yeah, so um if i can find it i've been doing a bit of research uh and there's a few articles that i will um you know i'll read out just to sort you of you want me to go no, you've done it there we go yeah so um so it says yeah what lubricant if any should i use on plastic bearings and gears so it says many engineers and maintenance personnel have misconceptions that plastic components either require special plastic lubricants or no lubricants. That's fair enough. Wherever possible, you should lubricate plastic components to reduce friction and wear and increase component life. Tests show that lubricated plastic sliding bearings, I know we're not talking about sliding bearings, but as a general, uh, lubricated plastic sliding bearings last up to five times longer than non-lubricated ones. And then this is the important bit. Even self-lubricating plastic materials, such as PTFE, Teflon, benefit from lubrication. Figure one. Um, so that just takes you to another thing that doesn't. Um, but it says at speeds over one RPM, friction for a non-lubricated Teflon sleeve bearing increases, whereas it decreases for lubricated bearing. So... To op optimize the lubrication of plastic components, you should, should abide by one basic guideline. Choose a lubricant that is compatible, which is the word of the day, I think, mm -hmm. um, with a plastic material. Um, compatibility must be verified until, so that doesn't really matter. But it does say wherever possible, uh, even self-lubricating plastic materials benefit from lubrication. So again, that's one article. We're going to another article I read uh, about lubricating plastic gears. It says, ignore this really, uh, but it says here, even lightly loaded, low speed components with no lube plastic, i.e. internally lubricated, which means, you know, self-lubricating plastic, um, uh, with an oil or solid lubricant will last longer, run more, uh, will last longer and run more quietly with an external lubricant um, than without one. So again, um, it's saying you don't need it, but it would benefit from it. Um, and it makes it run quieter. You can see a little graph up here. Um, that's the noise level. I don't, I, it's just, it doesn't really show the graph of how long these things are supposed to last. I mean, nothing lasts forever, but yeah, it lasts a good few years. But with self-lubricating plastic dry 
you know, we're looking at, it's only a little bit of noise. It doesn't really matter. Um, but we've lubricated, um, it, you know, that comes right down. Um, but it, it does say here, um, it will last longer and run more quietly with an external lubricant. Um, so that's even with, with that type of plastic. Um, and then there's another article about it. Is lubrication necessary for plastic gears? So the value of lubricants is recognized by virtually anyone who has ever worked with gears. They slow down the rate in which gears parts deteriorate, prevent the equipment from heating up and allowing for gears to operate using the least amount of work possible. Now, I know these aren't running at super high speeds and they're probably not good. They're not going to warm up. Yeah. But, um, it does say, however, plastics are a special case for two reasons. Standard petroleum-based lubricants cannot be used for plastic gears, uh, which goes on to what I'm going to say next. Um, uh, and some plastic gears are designed to be used without lubricants, which is fine. It, you know, I agree. They yeah. are designed to have no no lubricants. They're, it's built in, you know, they're, they're self-lubricating. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it says some plastic gears can be embedded with lubricating materials such as PTFE, silicon, or graphite. These are called internal lubricants. So it's self, self lubricating yeah. plastic gears, you know? Um, and significantly, the friction uh, coefficient of the surface of plastic gears. However, there are certain operating conditions that benefit from the use of an external lubricant, even the plastic gears in use. Um, already have internal lubricants embedded into them. So again, it's saying it benefits from grease, yeah. even though they. So what I'm trying to say is, it's not going to. You don't have to put grease on your if you don't want to. Yeah, they are designed to run without, but it's certainly not going to do any harm um, if you if you do decide to add lubricant. Yeah. Um, but that's where I'm, this is where it's really important. Like I fully understand you need to, because this is the type of plastic it is, you need to use the correct grease if you're going to do it. Now it's your model. You can do what you want with it. Um, for me, I wanted to do it. I'm happy I've done it and I wouldn't change it. Um, but make sure you get the correct grease. It has to be, designed for that type of plastic self lubricated yeah. it's like ptfe so if you use different type of oil or or the wrong type yes that could damage damage yeah. components over time split crack swell whatever yeah. they do yeah um so i actually got up my um the data sheet for the grease i used um so yeah I'll uh, bring that up. So here is the Molico EM30L, which is exactly what I've got in this little tub. Okay. Um, and its composition is PTFE. That's all I was going to say. So this is the correct the, the correct grease for that type of application. Yeah. So there's been three different articles on three websites that all say that it does benefit. So, um, again, you know, it's not – it's it's all about opinion. Some people may prefer not to use it. Some people yeah. may use it. It doesn't matter what you do, but I haven't done wrong and I've certainly not made it worse. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I've heard that perhaps they might clog up over time and stop. Those mo motors are so talky. I think it would rip your finger off if you got your finger in there, to be <laughs> honest. Um, yeah. But I don't, it's not going to cause, it's, it's not going to cause a problem. Yeah. Um, but obviously, please don't just whack any. You can't start using three in one oil and stuff like that because it's the wrong. It's wrong. You it's have wrong. to get yeah. the correct grease. Now yeah. I open up. I used to. The reason I come by this is because I do some like self repair stuff. So PlayStation, my D, actually my DVD player under there. The drawer was a bit hit and miss. It's quite old. Took it all apart. Um, cleaned it all out, and I greased up. Uh, they've got plastic cogs in there and again i think they're they're self-lubricating they look that tight but yeah. from factory they have this white gunk on it yeah so they but that's that's their i think it's a worm gear in that so you know it does benefit and it lasts longer yeah. 
So just yeah. yeah, I mean it's fine. It's everyone's entitled to do how they want to do their bills, but I just no more messages for me, please. Because <laughs> yeah. I've done it. What's done is done. I'm yeah, happy yeah. I've done it. Um, and that's all really I want to say on the matter, really. Yeah, um, fair, fair comment. Yeah, it's uh... it just seems to be a big talking point I've noticed on you know, yeah. say in my chat and and the live builds and um in other in other lives I've seen, it's been a yeah. topic about it, and almost I don't know, I don't know how I felt like whether it was more of a P take or I don't know, but yeah, there's this, you know, um, there's three people, and um, I, I know you won't mind me calling him out P40F20, he's an absolute bank of knowledge, and he's helped me out with so much. And it, you know, he used to do this in uh, injection molding. Yeah. Um, so yes, he knows his stuff, but um, at the end of the day, like it's just it's just how you want to do your model at the end of the day. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, that's absolutely um, true. But yeah, I just as I say, just don't use the wrong oil. You know, most people are probably past that stage now, uh, which is fine. Um, but if you are thinking of doing it for yourself, if you want to do it, just make sure you do look up. And make sure that it's the correct grease for the job. Yeah, uh, and that's it really on that subject. I just thought it'd be something to to bring up. Fair comment. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, well, it's good. We've got some more comment comments. Um, Gillian Lowell, good evening. Good show. Keep safe and well. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Gillian. And uh, David Bassett, good evening, Horlix and the rest of Eagle Squadron. I've missed the fly pass once again. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. It wasn't really anything. Hi, we just David. showed off. <laughs> uh, D. Harris, your model, Horlick, your core piece, yes, in my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks. I mean, as I say, you know, it's just, I knew it was the correct grease. So, yeah, that, that's, I can't stress that enough. It has to be the correct grease. But as you saw from three articles that I could find, they all say non lubricated plastic gears benefit from the correct grease yeah to make them last longer and to you know to make them quieter because they yeah. are quite loud aren't they i mean they still yeah. quite loud, to be honest yeah Even with them being in the box as well they're going to reverberate as well aren't they yeah i mean until yeah. i've had it running for a few times and um but sorry one other thing to know um i know there was discussion um Obviously, we've got the motors in the base. Now, they're not really going to be subject to anything because, yes, they have covers. They're not airtight or anything, but they're in a base with cover on them, screwed down, plus you've got the top. So there's yeah. not going to be much getting in there. No. Um, however, the, the, the actual propellers, if I remember rightly, now correct me if I'm wrong, the propeller shaft with the plastic gear came in a bag full of grease yes it did yeah i'm sure it did so there you go sure. that's going to be made of the same that's full of grease as well so yeah. there's no difference all i've done is added a little bit more yeah yeah okay so, um, yorkshire crafter hi everyone hi julie hi julie dave mark hi yorkshire crafter yorkshire crafter hi dave mark John's model making, even at all. Hi, Hi John. John. Oh, your ears must have been burning. <laughs> Hi, John's model making. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about you, John, because uh, we were just doing issue 88 of the Spitfire and um, there wasn't mm. anything to do. We were just admiring the wing and um, yeah. we were saying that you've, you've got a bit further than that on your on your uh, show. So um, to see how it fits on. Uh, but I haven't got around to watching that yet, but I will be doing that at some point at the weekend. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll watch your video and see, and and some others and see how that goes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think I think that's it really. That's all I really wanted to cover. It's just, you know, it's just, I just keep getting a lot, a few, I've had, a, not loads, but I've had a few messages about it and yeah. I just wanted to put it to bed. I've done it now, and I'm happy. No, I think that, well, you've made a good case for either or are, aren't you, really? Yeah, I mean, you say, say, I totally agree. You do not need it. It yeah. is there. It is. You, you don't need it. It's not 
otherwise they would have supplied it with the model but of course, uh, yeah. it's optional and it's yeah. you know it's beneficial if you do add more um of the correct grid yeah yeah um uh, uh, we're up to um john's modern room hi dear mark uh john's modern room and mate he has question <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> there was ben in <laughs> uh, D, D Harris, um, Horlicks, if, if I don't speak to you, don't before you don't do another stream before it. Want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy new year. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, you'll probably be on on Sunday, will we, won't you? Yeah, that will be on on Sunday. What we on the Northern Model Builders? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, actually, yeah, I think I'll be able to join that one as well because, um, I, don't, I haven't got anything. Oh, jolly good. Think, unless I'm feeling poorly, because uh, yeah. I'm having my um, booster tomorrow. Oh, my goodness, mate. I should be all right. I've been all right. I mean, the first, I had Pfizer the first time, and it, it, I felt a bit strange, I must admit. But I had the second jab of that, and I was absolutely fine. So if I end up with the same Pfizer again tomorrow, tomorrow then probably I'll be not, to you'll probably get something different. Yeah, Moderna, Moderna is it or something? Moderna, yeah. I had I had both the Ox the Oxford ones and I've got the Pfizer as my booster. Yeah, oh, right. They said the yeah. Pfizer one's best as your booster. Danny got the Danny got the had he had the Pfizer one, then he got the Moderna as his booster. Mm. So yeah, we had the Ox, Oxford one and we got the Moderna as our booster. Mm. So yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, John's model making. Uh, oh, you might click on. It's not clicking. Uh, John's model making. Yeah. yeah okay, welcome, Horlicks. Are you still okay, not clicking? I've, I've got it now. Yeah. <laughs> Andy C H or is it just Andy Chip? A public platform brings scrutiny. Sound advice, Horlicks. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, D. Harris, same to everyone in chat. Very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Stay safe and healthy. Yeah, same to you, D. Same to you, D. Thank you very much. John Sunday. Yeah. Uh, John Model Making, the Grease debate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not really a debate. It was just um, just some information I found. And um, yeah, you, I've gone through it. I'm not going to go through it again. But yeah, it's in the. It's in. Uh, but if you were a little bit late, it was just before. I think just before you came in, um, and I, sh I shared the screen with some info online. So um, mm. just yeah, watch it back if you're interested. But um, the, the the end of the day, it's your model. Do do as you will with it. Yeah, yeah. and John's model making. Merry Christmas and a happy New Year, D. So, and that's the chat up to date. Jolly good. Lovely. So I think that's about it. We haven't done too bad, actually, making that out of a 40-minute stream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Considering. Um, so has anyone got anything to add or anything about anything? Or I, uh, Just, I think, um, Northern Model Builders, it's, it's the last one on um, Sunday. Sunday till the 2nd of January, is it? I believe so, yeah. 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 Yeah, I believe so. Oh. so yeah. Um, the girls had their last stream last night, so yeah. Well, of course, Chris missed that, but um, bless her. So but, most uh, people will be finished till after the after the Christmas after Sunday night. Yeah, I've got I've got some lads going live um, between now and Christmas, and then after Christmas, of course, I've got quite a lot to do. So I'm going to be doing an update. Uh, on my channel so that's that'll be an update on all my models and all christine's models so and then um i'll be doing at least uh, five or six um issues of the root master and then i'm going to be starting on root master number two the modded root master as well so uh sometime sort of either between now and after christmas uh within the next month anyway so uh, yeah, I've got uh, a, a lot to do. Well, my my um, Dodge Charger has not any stop boards. I'll still be going out usual. You know, the Dodge Charger was a bit late this week because I was waiting for issues, but should be on track for the next couple of weeks. So yeah, good. We still be going out. Yeah, and 
Um, I'm gonna have to try and do a live stream myself one day, maybe of what I've done. <laughs> try it there, yeah. Try, I mean, I, I actually did one at um, what was it, quarter, quarter to five tonight, and it was only like 15 minutes, but I knew it was a, it was a quick issue to do, and I thought, well, you know, I'll just try and get it in within 15 20 minutes of there. And well, like, uh, what you're doing, I might try it, I might not try it, catch up. What the stuff I've got an update of the stuff I've been doing, the stuff I've got doing, the stuff that's sitting up there and waiting, waiting to be yeah, finished. I think that's <laughs> a good idea, yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it, indeed, yeah. Um, because no doubt, you know, people will be looking for something to watch, won't they? So, yeah, that's on TV <laughs> again and again and again, yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, sorry, you changed the subject very slightly. You knew you talk, you were talking about your bus, weren't you, and uh, mate doing mods to it and stuff. Yeah. I was playing around last night. I don't think you saw it, Dave, because you were assisting no. Chris. Yeah, I wasn't. I route master diamond painting. Well, this is how far it's got. Oh, lovely. And if you keep your eyes peeled. Watch this. Uh, hang on. <laughs> oh no, it's gone. It worked last night. <laughs> I can do some modding myself. Oh, it's got a headlight. <laughs> <laughs> so the plan is to go around. I'm, I'm having to hold it with some really tiny wires, but the plan yeah. is to maybe light it up so when it hangs on the wall in a frame. I'm going to put a switch on the side so the headlights light up. That's so clever. Perhaps maybe the indicators to blink at the front. That would be brilliant, yeah. So clever. That's so, brilliant. Um, and that, I need to send you some of these, Dave. Um, but it's tiny, tiny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, so, where do you get you... these tiny bulbs from? Because I want to look at doing some mods on me. Um... Eddie Stobart. eBay. I've got these ones off eBay. I'll have to find out the exact size of them, but it's literally tiny. It's so small. So small, it's yeah. Just, like it's literally hair. I mean, even these wires, like compared to it, these are the smallest, like a small gauge wire with them. Yeah. But I thought, yeah, I'd run I might put some LEDs on there. And if see once all this is in a frame, you're not going to see all that. Exactly. And, um, yeah. And the headlights are going to light up, and then that perhaps the indicators if I can see them. Like yeah. once the painting's done, but I was just having a little play last night, and um, yeah. I mean, there's a light there, and there's one there, so I might do them as well. So that'd be four. Nice, yeah. Um, and then it, I might just get a deep frame for it, and yeah. then cut a hole in it and put a switch on the side, a rocker switch. Brilliant. And then I can turn the painting on and it, it light up. I might, yeah. if, and depending on this picture, I can't remember, but if there's any street lights. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Yeah, so yeah. cool. He's going to have that yeah. whole, he's going to have that whole bus lit up by the. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I love an LED, I love a light, I like a bit of electrical, um, yeah. I like a bit of electrical tape. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. So yeah, that was yeah. my um, little bit of a play last night. I was just I having mean, a bit of an experiment, and um, I thought good, that yeah. might look quite cool. Yeah, a little like bit more chat coming. Something uh, different. Ah, uh, crafty Chris is here. Very clever. Hi, Chris. Hello, darling. I hope you're feeling a bit better. And uh, Dave Mac, that's a good idea. Oh, looks it looks great. It does. Thank you. Um, Yorkshire Crafter, that's still cool for the light. Yeah. So it's not finished yet, but um, it's going to be a, need a lot of patience to actually do it. And I probably won't bother until I get the frame. And I need to make sure I get a deep frame so I can house it and try and get a battery box in the back so I'm at somehow. Or yeah. I might even use a rechargeable lithium battery because um, I've got a little circuit board and a little mini lithium cell, which I could probably yeah. hide in there. Then I can put like a USB in the side and charge it up. That's a good idea. So, yeah, yeah that's um, just a bit off subject, but just talking about mods, it reminded me. <laughs> so... Well, as I say, I might be, I might be wanting your help in the future, then, Holix, because I'm hoping, um, and I've seen um, it done now. The little lights on the side of the um, Eddie Stubbard wagon. Mm. I want, I want mine. I want to take them screws out and put little bulbs in. 
I'm I'm oh. feeling exactly the same. Yeah. Once again, Steve Owen uh, yes. the roof oh, on that one, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. It was a yes, but the day it looks good. Yeah, it's just it it. I'm not. I don't know much about electrics for to for tap it into the tap it into the headlights or something. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Have you? I guess you've got a soldering iron, haven't you, Dave? Your, I have, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I I, I was planning to send you some of these LEDs, obviously, for the, you know, in case, well, when you need them. Um, what about you, Dave? And, and you've got a soldering iron? No, I've, I've, no, I don't, I, I've never soldered. All oh, right. These that's, are quite that's, difficult to solder. That's where, I, that's where I've got to, I was, that's where I was going to look for ideas because I don't solder. Mm. It's so tiny, then, yeah. I mean, it's going to be hard for me to even solder it up for you because in most cases you might need to run the wire through where it's going, depending on the build. Because obviously, yeah. I haven't, I'm not building it. Like with the Root Master, when I did the those on the indicators, yeah, I had to take a load of the side panels off again, which was harder yeah. than I thought. I thought oh, I'll just undo that, and it would no, nah, I had to take off quite a few strips. Yeah, um, but it took me ages to get the wires through between the two decks. Yeah, so we can get it to the correct side for the. Uh -huh. It's just that yeah. looking at what Steve Owen's got. It's two three, three millimeter bulbs with it looks like the proper red, red and black wires going down. Would he then just tap them into the headlights? Yeah, yeah, there's different mean, options. I think he might yeah. have used them for his route master with the bigger LEDs. Yeah. Um, I took inspiration from another someone else. I'm so sorry, I can never remember his name. I know he's a viewer. Um, and he drilled little because we drilled little tiny he drilled a little tiny hole in the corner and mm -hmm. actually dropped one of these little tiny LEDs. i can't even tell you how small they are tiny. and i dropped it in the hole so it lit up inside rather than yeah. having it on the outside and the but obviously really? these are quite hard to solder up because they're yeah. literally so fine the wires so you need a helping hand and trying to get a good grip on the cable is really the only time i've ever sold that was putting cv cables on the flipping areas and that was, <laughs> that was big lumps of solder so i was, was going to say I, yeah i, no. I tried intricate soldering that'd be big coaxial aerial yes yeah, yeah. Goodness me. Tried, that's the only thing i've ever sold i've never tried intricate soldering out like that that's yeah, why yeah. i soldering aid. it's something i wouldn't mind trying you know, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I always give it's something a good. Certainly, no good getting your blowtorch out, Dev, because obviously, all the things aren't that expensive. No, they're not. No, no. no it's, just wanna... it's just getting, it's just getting a, a one with a faint tip, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I can recommend. Well, I can't recommend one because I've not used it, but I know I watch another channel who does electronic repair because uh, I'm fascinated by it. Um, and I've always been into it, but he uses a little soldering iron, and it's like um, it's like a rechargeable thing, and it's got a screen on it. It looks a bit like an e-cigarette, um, mm. but with a soldering iron on the end. And yeah. um, he keeps going on about how good it is. So I actually would like to get one of those because at the moment I've got a soldering station, which is okay, but it's very big, and it's got a heat. Uh, it's got a hot air gun on it as well for yeah. like, board repair. And so when you just want to quickly whip out a soldier iron and do something, you've got to get all that out. And yeah, so I'd like to get one, but I don't think they're that expensive. But I'll have I'll have a find out. I think hmm. it's called a T, a T something, um, and that's supposed to be really good. Yeah, um, it'd be worthwhile looking up. And they've got like quick quick release heads or something so you just push a button and then off you go again yeah so mm -hmm. uh, where was i oh dear mark crafty chris hope you'll feel better soon thank you dave yorkshire crafter would a box frame work for that yeah fun. yeah that's what i'm thinking that sort of thing yeah really thick frames yeah i guess a box frame um yeah that's what i'm thinking and this is best small detail leds to you are made for model railways have a look at them yeah mm. yeah yeah 
I don't know why I searched for these. I, I mean, as far as I'm aware, these are the smallest LEDs you can actually buy. They are so small. They're like, they're smaller than, I can't, I don't even know. It's, they're I so small, smaller, I can't compare it to anything. They're smaller than a grain of rice, aren't they? Oh, definitely. Grains of yeah. rice are quite big. Yeah. I don't know if you can, I'll see if I can get Said, um, we, wouldn't want them. we wouldn't want them that small for them headlights up as you've always getting three millers three mills in yeah 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 if you can get bigger ones in then get them in oh, right. obviously work they're easier to work with but oh i see yeah goodness me yeah that's yeah, just, they're all they all clump together but they are absolutely tiny and as far as i'm aware they are the smallest you can get but i may be wrong they've they're got so resistors cool. on as well haven't they them resistors they come in the pack they're not soldered and um, that's in case you need them because ah. with the root with the root master i didn't need them because the mm. resistors were on the circuit board that was that was of course yeah yeah so i just cut into the original wiring for the rear indicators and just piggied onto them yeah. um so the resisting was already happening but yes if you're going to if you're doing a brand new project or something like the led on that diamond painting yeah. why you i just use this test board because the led has got a, um a resistor on there ah uh, yeah so i plug try to get the wires on them but yeah, yeah if you're going to do it i will probably need i will need to use a resistor for the diamond painting when it's finished because otherwise yeah yeah not. there's nothing else yeah and that will go up in a flash of smoke quicker than you can say yeah. Hey. <laughs> well, yeah. So how, so how would you know that if you if, if say you were tapping them into a headlight of a vehicle that you wouldn't need the resistor? If you stick one in it blows, then you know. Well, if you're going to go into into another, because obviously you're going to want it to come on with the lights, yeah. so you would probably want to get it wired up with the lights, so that when you push the lights on on the model. Or with the remote control or however however it's going to operate you'll be safe to put this in with the wiring for the original headlights uh -huh. because yeah. they will be resisted because they're leds um but if you're doing like a switch if you're going to come straight off the battery voltage and bit. you want to do like a switch for it for example a separate switch uh -huh. then you would need to resist it yeah um, but yeah, there'll be loads of people to help you out when it comes to it, um, Jordy, when you come round to it. Um, yeah, just, you know, we can discuss it. You can show us what you got, what you're thinking. Mm. And there's loads of people, not just myself, but quite a few people. I know Mark's quite up on his electronics as well. Mm. And, um, there's, there's lots of people to help. Yeah. So. Just ask questions. No question is a silly question. No, 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 no not at all. Solder and is easy, easy Jordy dear. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, you've just, uh, I mean, basically, you're just melting a bit of solder and putting yeah. it over two bits away to join them two bits together, aren't you? Yeah, as I yeah. say, I've done, it, I've done it with big cables. Mm. It's I've just done it with intricate stuff. Same as that, but smaller, yeah. Because you, I mean, yeah. you always put a little bit of solder on the cable first, don't you? And then it does help. Yeah, exactly. Help, yeah. Especially if you're doing two wires, yeah. yeah. Um, it's called tinning or something, isn't it? That's right, yeah. I mean, when it comes to chips, it's a bit more complicated. I mean, I do, um, th that's quite difficult, and you have to do flux and all sorts and surface tension and the correct heat, and it gets a bit. I am halfway through that series now. I'm gonna be while I'm here, I was doing a let's start soldering project, and I only ever did one part. Mm so i've lost a bit of heart in it only because i want to finish it i might have to buy another one because it was all in a pot as you can imagine it's a, it was a smart watch i was going to make yeah now there's tiny weeny little components a bit like them there's like a tiny led there's loads of chips now twice now it's up flipped off the side and landed on the floor Oh, so no. there's little bits everywhere yeah. i think i picked them all up because i went through it really i was on the floor for nearly half an hour i think i've got everything 
but I'm nervous now because I don't want to start filming. Oh no, that one's lost. You can do, you, yeah. Which is very yeah. possible. I mean, I have looked everywhere, and I, I, there isn't any more. But then I did exactly the same thing the other week, and again it went. It fell off, landed here, bits went everywhere. So again, yeah. I'm on the floor picking up these tiny little components. <laughs> so I really don't know whether it's it's all there now. Um, yeah. So I might just do away with that one and maybe buy another kit in the new year. Yeah. So I don't want to get to a point and then find it's missing and then waste my time. Um, no. So, or I could just sit here, spend an hour with the and just sort of piece together where everything is going to go. That might be a better option. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's um that's about it. Look, we've, I've managed to blabber on for another twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. So so is there any more chat, Jody Dave? Um do, do, one more Dave Mark. Uh, do you think we'll get our next batch of spitfires before Christmas? Um, possible. Uh, I'm I'm doubtful personally for It'll me. Be Christmas and you, yeah. Yeah, because it's like literally mm. next week, isn't it? Now, normally, yeah. the only reason I'm saying for me, I doubt. Oh, actually, what's this letter? Actually, actually, I usually get them. I usually, oh, no. get, I usually get them just after my PD, and my PD is next Friday, which is Christmas Eve, so more likely between Christmas and New Year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I normally get. Uh, this isn't the right one, but I normally get the, the letter from Harsh Air. Um, to say, yeah, your parts are on the way. Or, no, yeah. sorry, your next parcel is here. Because, obviously, I this is my billing address here, and then I get them delivered to work. So I always get the letter here to say that my Spitfire issues are here. And then when yeah. I go to work, they normally come three, four, three or four days after this letter. Yeah. In my, in my case. So I've not had that letter yet to say that my parcel's here and we've only got three, four days, working days left for deliveries yeah. plus Christmas. So and yeah, plus, I'm, plus I'm plus certain I'm not going to get mine this side of Christmas. Mm. Plus what I see on Facebook, somebody put up it was Eddie Stobart thing that could be delays due to the Royal Mail. Yeah. Which I would expect, I would expect that this time of year. Yeah. Yeah, well, coming from the same place, aren't they? Yeah. What with all Christmas post and christmas cars plus they're sending out a lot more of these yeah. na um, lateral flow tests aren't they yeah yeah um, so yeah i think i think we'll look forward to that probably uh geordie said between christmas and new year maybe in that in that little gap yeah. or yeah it'll be january yeah so but I'll met I'll maybe do a stream if they come in earlier and um and just let people know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah. I'm still far in fact you're an issue in front of me now, Harlex. Oh so. am I? <laughs> oh, so I'm really yeah. surprised you then. No, it doesn't matter. No. No. <laughs> I mean I've He's got an issue with I've got He's the, in front of me at all. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the pads, it's just there. I haven't put the speaker in yet. I haven't done that yet. Yeah. Oh, have you yeah, not? Well, oh, that, that rounds me down. There's two issues in front of me. <laughs> yes, there's two issues in front of me. <laughs> no, it's absolutely fine. Um, and I know what's... Because I've got up to issue 90, I think it is, haven't we? So, yeah, I know what's in all them. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. Well, I think we should end the stream. It's been an hour. Um, not bad considering mm. there's been no building. Um, yeah. yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and and um, sort of understand where I'm coming from with the grease. Um, so yeah, I, I, to be honest, don't want to hear any more about that. I've done it and, and that's that's all I wanted to show yeah. and say. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. Um, I will pass you around and let you say your goodbyes and talk about anything so yeah the next stream will be sunday yeah 
I believe. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, Sunday. Mind you, I saw your video earlier, Dave. Do you know what you're doing yet? Are you? <laughs> I was, I was, um, I, I was contemplating on doing another one tonight. Um, but I know that we've, you know, we've got to talk to friends in a few minutes. So, um, right. I'll, I'll see how it goes. If I've got time, then I'll, I'll do another one tonight. Yeah, if that's not, right. I don't want to drop you in here. I just want yeah. to. <laughs> If if I haven't got time, then I'll, I'll do uh, a couple tomorrow. Okay. Oh, okay. So I apologise if I don't go live again tonight. But uh, if I do, you've got a bonus. Uh, if I don't, uh, catch me tomorrow sometime and I'll do a couple of issues tomorrow. Okay, lovely. And all I will say is, I mean, I've got my jab in the morning. Um, but obviously with Christine being poorly blessed, uh, if you do need any help at all, then um, you can give me a shout tomorrow afternoon if you need me. Okay, um, thank you. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Just in case. I know Chris sometimes helps you with it or whatever, but yeah. Yeah, thank oh, you. Um, but anyway, right, let's go to um let's go join Dave first, say goodbyes and all that, and then uh yeah. Been an interesting evening. I hope everybody enjoyed it and uh hope to see you all on uh Sunday. Anybody can make it, have a Merry Christmas and we'll catch you again in the new year. But I hope you all can make Sunday show. So good night from me. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Uh, DS Mills and Vincent. I'd just like to say a big hearty thank you for uh, joining us tonight. Yeah, it's been fun. How do we fill an hour's time without actually doing anything? Well, come and join us and we'll show you how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very okay, good. Uh, good night from me. God bless. Take care. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon, um, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, and if not, I'll see you Sunday. So for night from me. Lovely, thanks, Dave. And uh, yeah, again, thank you from me. Um, so please like, share, subscribe. That'd be great. Uh, really like to push some more for next going into next year. Um, there will be a new, hopefully, a new bill coming to the channel soon. Still don't know yet when it will be, but I need to. I need. I'm waiting on some information. So. Um, well, is for me to say is um, just thank you, everyone, for all the help this year, um, especially over lockdown and everything. We've all come together, and it's it's been great. And I'm not quite sure, like a lot of people, I'm not quite sure what I would have done without YouTube, to be honest. Over mm -hmm. over this, you know, this this period, and um, yeah. yeah. So just thank you, thank you, every single one of you for your support and coming back uh, week after week to uh, to watch us and. Um, yeah, Merry Christmas to everyone and all. And um, yeah, I hope you all have a, a great festive time, um, the best you can, and more of a break, really. If you haven't, I mean, some people have got to work, haven't they? But uh, <laughs> hopefully, some of you get a bit of a rest, um, the best you can. Um, but anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you. Probably on Sunday, on, as, as Dave said, on the um, um, your, uh, Northern Model Builders Group. Sorry, it's tongue twister. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, that's that's it. Uh, but from me and this channel, probably be next year. So um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care and don't eat too many Christmas puddings. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye. Bye. in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light shine through for you